Hello everyone. Alright, so I will continue with the third video. Okay, about business value of security and control. Okay, so in a business value of security and control, we have the legal and regulatory requirement. Okay, so this is for electronic record management and privacy protection. In US, they will protect by using HIPAA, Gramm-Leach Bliley Act, and Sarbanes Oxley Act. Alright. So, in a business value of security control, okay, they have uh, two things okay, that we have to understand. Okay, the first one is about electronic evidence. Electronic evidence is some uh, the evidence that are uh, often in digital form. Some things that you, um, you want to make it as evidence. Usually, evidence uh, we put in the hard copy, in, on the paper or in the, for the people. But for the electronic evidence in a digital form that you have to look, you have to view, and you you may print it, okay, later. But you can use it as an evidence, okay. It is the proper control of data. It can save time. It can save money when you respond to legal discovery requests. So it can be your evidence if you want to. Um, for example, you want to. Uh, you have a um, court of law and then you want to make it uh, the um, something uh, appear in your email that you want to make it as evidence you can use it okay uh, the second one you have computer forensics okay computer forensics okay it is for evidence the electronic evidence okay in a court of law but you are using it uh, to to check to identify or you want to uh, uh, what we have to call it, you have to uh, examine or you, wa you want to report it as your evidence, you have to make it as your uh, computer forensic. For example, uh, you say that okay, in the court of law, this uh, the uh, it will contain in the storage of the uh, server for example so they have to do the forensic for the server okay to make sure it can be a part of your evidence okay that's what we call it computer forensics yeah usually we know this the forensic you have to um, you have to um, uh, make sure that uh, your uh, the the uh the the dead body okay on the bed and then you have to do the forensic but the computer you have to check everything the content of the computer or any electronic device okay that's what we call as a computer forensics so it includes the recovery of ambient and hidden data okay next okay the organizational frameworks for security and control. So we have uh, we have uh, information system control. In information system control, they have manual and automated control and general and application control. So manual and automated control is some things that you have to do in manually or automatically. But we have general and application. So what is general? General is a governed design security and use of computer programs and security of data it apply to all computerized applications and it will combine the hardware the software and manual procedures to create overall control environment so they, they will make it um, as the um, the combination of uh, of the of the computerized applications so in a general control they have one two three four five six fixed gen six general control okay we have software hardware computer operations data security implementation and administrative okay the second one is the application control so application control is a special control unique to each computerized application for example you have to uh uh, you have to look into the payroll or the processing sales okay so this is the application control so it include the automated and manual procedure include the ipo control okay so what is ipo all right so um actually um ipo um usually is it is for the intellectual properties The next one we have security policy. 
Okay, in a security policy, it ranks the information risk. Okay, you have to rank. You have to do the ranking for all the risk. Okay, that will happen. That might happen. Okay, for your, for your, uh, for whatever uh, uh, project or for whatever database for whatever telco involved in your project. Okay, and identifies the acceptable security goals and identify the mechanisms for achieving these goals okay so risk assessment you have to determine okay level of risk uh, if specific activity or process is not properly controlled so to make sure which risk that you have to uh you have to look first all right and then types of track okay you have to look about the probability of occurrence during year okay so every year the the probably uh the this case might be happen right and then the potential losses value of threat okay and expect expected annual loss so you have to do uh do do the work before it happened all right so this is risk assessment <coughs> all right sorry okay and then we have <coughs> okay we have identity management Okay, um, in identity management, all right, so, um, okay, yeah, identity management, it is a business process and tools to identify valid users of system and control access. Okay, it will identify um, different categories of users, okay, specify which portion of system users can access, okay, and then authenticate the users and protect identities and they have the identity management system so identity management system okay, will capture access roles for different level of users so they make make it sure make sure that okay this um this application is just applicable to the a part of user or a portion of user okay not all can use it okay and then we have information system audit Okay, uh, you have to audit everything, okay, that involve, okay, for, uh, for your security environment to make sure that your data, your information is secure enough, right? So, you will review the technologies, you have to review the computer, you have to review the network, you have to review the, all the devices, the hardware, the software, okay, and then you have to review the procedure, is it the SOP, can we use, um, uh can we use um maybe in another year or we have to change the sop and then we have to look the documentation the training and personnel is it training enough for our employees and also we have to look our personnel okay um we have two types of planning actually okay for the security policy so about disaster and also business continuity planning so disaster you devise plans for restoration of disruptive services. So you have to look. Okay, for example, in your area, okay, uh, we know the flood. Okay, uh, occurs every year. Okay, or um, occurs every year. So, so what is your plan? Okay, for your, uh, for your company, for your security, uh, company security. For example, if you have the, the ground floor, floor sorry, the ground floor the uh, uh so the basement okay maybe our cable uh, cable is uh in the basement so what is uh, your planning okay your company planning okay for disaster and also business continuity planning you will focus on restoring business operations after disaster so when the disaster happens so what is your business continuity planning so what you have to do okay so this is disaster so you will you will uh, complete it within the disaster. But after the disaster, so what you should do? Okay, so you have to understand this. Alright, um, I will stop here. Okay, because I want to continue with the identity management, uh, the tools and technologies for safeguarding information resources. Uh, it's, it's too many. So I will stop until here. So we will continue for our next uh, video later. Alright, thank you guys for watching.